Waititi is an asteroid that was captured by Drew thousands of years ago. It has very rugged terrain, low gravity and a somewhat hard to reach orbit. And today I'm going to show you how to land on it. As always we start off at the launch pad. Launching to TT from Drew is actually quite unique because you actually have to go west instead of east when you launch. This is because TT orbits in retrograde around Drew, which means it goes the opposite way to Drew's spin and the other moons of Drew. This means that you'll need a craft with a lot of delta V. The minimum amount you can bring is around 6,500 meters a second, but I would highly recommend bringing much more. Once we've circularized our Drew retrograde orbit, we're going to want to set up a planned burn to get ready to intercept TT. As well as being in a retrograde orbit, TT has a highly inclined orbit, meaning we're going to have to change our direction a lot to try and intercept it. Whilst I'm sure there's more efficient ways to get to TT, I'm going to use an extremely simple method so it's easier for everyone watching. The first thing we're going to do once we get to orbit is make sure we select TT. Next, we're going to wait for TT to be at near its highest point in its orbit. Now it's time to place our maneuver node. You want to place the maneuver node on the same side as Drew that TT is. Now it's time for the most time consuming part. We need to start editing the maneuver node and getting it out to intercept TT. This is going to take a lot of tweaking and I recommend using the normal gizmo the most but after a lot of tweaking, we'll eventually get closer and closer to that interception. Once we've made the interception, make sure to lock the maneuver node, then put the engine on in the planned burn, and then press the time warp button in the planned burn, and it will time warp you to the planned burn, and then do the burn. You may be required to do a second planned burn after the first planned burn, just to recorrect yourself to get back into the interception. So once you've done that and you've got the actual interception, you're on your way to get to TT orbit. Once you've arrived in its sphere of influence, you know what to do, just start the burn to get yourself into a circularized orbit. From here, it's quite simple, detach your lander and begin the descent. Whilst you might think landing on TT is quite easy due to its extremely low gravity, it's actually not easy at all. TT has two main terrain types, those being extremely rough and jagged terrain and then smooth but bumpy and difficult to land on terrain. The best engine to use for your lander depends on the weight but I would recommend using pressure fed engines as they are the perfect amount of thrust and efficiency to land on this moon. It's extremely important that you pick a flat area to land on TT otherwise your craft may flip. As you can see in this clip, I'm pretty careless. There are some flatter areas on TT, and you'll see that I later move on and try and land at one of these instead so I can actually keep my craft upright. One advantage that TT's low gravity does give us is that gyroscopes, even smaller ones, will let us turn our crafts and keep them upright even if they've flipped. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I've been trying out a new editing style with this one where I get many, many clips and pretty much just throw them all together in a more cleaner cinematic way. It takes much longer to edit, but it looks way cooler. So I'd love to hear your feedback and thoughts on this new editing style. With the Luna video and the TT video here, we're pretty much starting a new series where we're going to attempt to make tutorials for landing or orbiting every major planet and moon in the Juno system. So I'd like to thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.